Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize bulleting or numbering on a per paragraph basis by first selecting all the paragraphs in a text containing object that you want to change. Selecting the entire object allows you to change all bullets or numbering for all paragraphs within the object. If you wish to create a character bullet and are using PowerPoint 2016, click at the front of a single line to which you want to apply a custom character bullet and then select a character bullet font like Webdings or Wingdings from the font drop-down in the font button group on the home tab in the ribbon. After making your selection, click the drop-down button next to either the bullets or the numbering buttons that appear in the paragraph button group on the home tab in the ribbon and select the bullets and numbering command to open the bullets and numbering dialog box. Depending on which button you clicked, you will see either the bulleted or numbered tab. You can click either tab to switch between them. On the bulleted tab, click a bullet character to replace with a custom bullet from the lists shown and decide if you want to create a custom character or picture bullet. To create a custom character bullet, click the Customize button to open the symbol dialog box. If using PowerPoint 2013, you can use the font drop-down to select a bullet font like Wingdings or Webdings. If using PowerPoint 2016, you should have already selected the desired symbol font from the font drop-down in the font button group on the home tab in the ribbon as your first step instead. Click the character to use as your bullet from the listing shown. Then click the OK button to set the character as your new bullet and return to the bullets and numbering dialog box. Set the percentage of the size of the adjacent text you want the bullet to be by using the size spinner. Then use the color drop-down to set the bullet color. Then click the OK button to apply the bullets to the selected paragraphs. Also note that after changing a bullet within the bullets and numbering dialog box, you can immediately click the reset button to reset the changes made to the default bullets if needed. To pick a picture bullet instead of a character bullet, click the picture button on the bulleted tab of the bullets and numbering dialog box to open the insert picture dialog box. Click one of the methods of inserting a picture from either your computer, a Bing web search, or from your OneDrive to select the picture to use for the bullet. After selecting the image to use, Click the Insert button to close the dialog box and apply your picture bullet to the selected paragraphs. You can also click the Numbered tab that appears within the Bullets and Numbering dialog box to customize the numbering applied to selected paragraphs. Start by selecting the Numbering or Sequential Lettering style to customize from the listing shown. Set the percentage of the size of the adjacent text you want the numbering to be by using the Size Spinner. Then use the color drop-down to set the numbering color. Then click the OK button to apply the numbering to the selected paragraphs. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.